Hi friends and welcome back to Stars Tree. I'm Sarit. Today we are going to discuss some tips for how to keep your work enthusiasm at bay and make sure it doesn't turn into a work addiction. This is such an important topic because in many situations work addiction is simply a work enthusiasm gone wrong. But before we get to the tips, why is it essential that you keep your work enthusiasm at bay? You only live once. This is not a dress rehearsal. While your work enthusiasm can make your dreams come true, work addiction can be a life threatening condition. Your most significant contribution to the world would be materialized only as an enthusiast. Work addiction is like cancer to your most meaningful impact. Here are some tips for keeping your enthusiasm at bay and making sure it doesn't transform into a work addiction. Know your why or your personal vision in detail. Clarify to yourself what you are ultimately after and why you are doing what you are doing. What matters to you most in life? As you go about your life and hard work, Make sure to check in with yourself and monitor that you are still following your vision and that you haven't lost your way. You want to make sure that your current day-to-day -day is bringing your vision to life without sacrificing what matters to you most. Learn what are your bare necessities in life and make sure they are not neglected. Re-evaluate. Don't go on autopilot for too long. Re-evaluate how you live your life and live consciously. Keep a wide perspective. For the sake of your work, your life cannot be all about work. Take breaks, take vacations, take human connection and relationships seriously. Take care. Ask for help and delegate. To be the most contributing, the most successful, you have to get help and teach others how to help you. We tend to think that taking more on ourselves and managing more on our own is somehow more appreciated or noble. We also tend to have resistance to getting help because it takes time to find the right person and train them. That's a very short-sighted approach. By asking for help, you are being more responsible, you take care of the business, the organization and yourself, and you are caring for other individuals by creating more job opportunities. Remember, you are not your work. Understand that while you like and enjoy your work very much and you are greatly appreciated for it, you are not your work. Our work, business or organization might change without us having any control over it. It is risky to have your identity rely on something that is not under your control. Different work-related circumstances can lead you to fight for your identity, which can get you out of balance and turn into a slippery slope to work addiction. As much as you can, you want to rely on internal sources for love, for esteem, and for belongingness. You don't want to source those basic needs from your work. You want to aspire to do your work for the sake of doing it for the pure fun it brings you, and not for the praise, appreciation, and esteem boosts that might come with it. Watch out from the business culture. Business won't bring your vision to life in the long run. Rest is essential for that to happen. That's it for this one. Are you a work enthusiast? Please let me know in the comment section down below which tip was the most important for you to hear today. If you haven't already, check out my videos about what is work addiction and how it is different from work engagement. And also, how a work enthusiast can become a workaholic. Links can be found in the description box down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and please share it with other work enthusiasts you know. Thank you so much for watching. Come visit me over at starstreet.com. I'll see you there.